Are you tired of your hard-earned cash sitting idle in the bank, not working for you? Well, you're in for a treat. In today's video, we're going to uncover the secret to making your money work harder and smarter for you. Did you know that there are assets out there that are not only better but also safer than keeping your cash in the bank? That's right, we're going to reveal 6 incredible assets that have the potential to grow your wealth while providing stability and security. But hold on, we're not just going to tell you these assets are better and safer, we'll back it up with solid data and expert insights. So if you're ready to take your financial game to the next level, buckle up and stay tuned. Welcome to the General Finance Channel, where we're committed to helping you take control of your finances. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed by credit card debt, unsure of how to create a budget, or intimidated by the world of investing? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Our channel is dedicated to providing you with practical tips and insights on credit management, budgeting, and investing. We upload new videos three to five times per week, so you'll always have fresh and valuable content to help you achieve your financial goals. If you like what you see, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Let's start our journey to financial freedom together right here on General Finance. Asset number one, sovereign guarantee. Have you ever looked closely at a dollar bill? You may have noticed a text that says this note is a legal tender for all debts, public and private. This statement essentially means that the US government guarantees the value of the dollar and accepts it as a form of payment for all types of obligations. This sovereign guarantee is a powerful assurance that provides stability and confidence in the currency. Prior to 1971, the US dollar was tied to the gold standard, which meant that the value of the currency was directly linked to a fixed amount of gold. This arrangement provided a tangible backing for the currency and limited the ability of the government to create money at will. Under the gold standard, the US government promised to redeem dollars for a specific amount of gold upon request, thereby providing a form of sovereign guarantee. However, in 1971, US President Richard Nixon made the decision to end the convertibility of the US dollar into gold effectively severing the direct link between the currency and a tangible asset. This move, known as the Nixon shock, marked a significant shift away from the gold standard and towards a system of fiat money, where the value of the currency is not backed by a specific asset, but by the trust and confidence in the government's ability to manage the economy and honor its financial commitments. The abolition of the gold standard marked a significant turning point in the international monetary system and paved the way for the modern era of fiat currencies. It emphasized the importance of government credibility and the reliance on sovereign guarantees in maintaining the value and stability of currencies. The importance of investing in sovereign guarantee lies in the fact that it keeps your money safe from the risk of default or loss. When you invest in assets backed by a sovereign guarantee, such as government bonds or treasury bills, you're essentially lending money to the government. Since governments have the authority to impose taxes and control the money supply, they're considered highly credit worthy and have the ability to honor their financial obligations. By investing in sovereign-backed assets, you're placing your trust in the stability and integrity of the government. The sovereign guarantee ensures that even in times of economic uncertainty or market volatility, your investment is protected. It provides a level of security that's particularly appealing to conservative investors seeking capital preservation and steady returns. Asset number two, safe haven currencies. In the ever-changing political and economic landscape, the stability of currencies can be uncertain. This is why many investors seek to keep their money in safe haven currencies such as the Swiss franc. Safe haven currencies are considered more stable and reliable during times of economic and geopolitical turbulence. The Swiss franc has been long recognized as a safe haven asset. Switzerland's political neutrality, strong financial system, and historically low inflation have contributed to the perception of the Swiss franc as a safe and stable currency. The country has a reputation for its strong commitment to fiscal responsibility and maintaining a secure banking system. One example that highlights the appeal of safe haven currencies is the global financial crisis of 2008. During that period, investors flocked to currencies like the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen as safe haven assets, seeking refuge from the volatility and uncertainty in other currencies and markets. The Swiss franc in particular experienced significant appreciation against other currencies during that time. The preference of the wealthy to use Swiss banks is another indication of the perceived safety of the Swiss franc in the Swiss financial system. The privacy laws and long-standing tradition of Swiss banking secrecy have attracted individuals and institutions looking to safeguard their wealth and assets. Overall, the political climate and the stability of currencies can significantly impact the value of money. Safe haven currencies such as the Swiss franc are considered attractive options for investors seeking ability and security in uncertain times. However, it's essential to carefully evaluate the risks and consult with financial professionals when considering investments in currencies. Asset number three, God's money, gold, silver, and platinum. Keeping assets such as gold, silver, and platinum can be a better and safer option compared to relying solely on cash. 
While cash is valuable for day-to-day -day transactions, it's important to understand that its value can be affected by various factors. One of these factors is the government's printing of more money to finance deficits and stimulate the economy, which can potentially lead to inflation and a decrease in the purchasing power of cash. In this scenario, the value of your money may diminish over time, eroding your wealth. This is precisely why many wealthy individuals and investors choose to include precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum in their portfolios. These metals have a long history of being considered valuable and have acted as a store of wealth throughout centuries. Their scarcity, durability, and intrinsic value make them attractive assets that tend to hold their value even during economic uncertainties. During times of high inflation, when the value of traditional currencies may decline, precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum have historically demonstrated their potential to rise in value. As inflation rises through the ceiling, these metals can act as a hedge, preserving and even growing your wealth. They provide a tangible asset that has a limited supply and is globally recognized as a store of value. Moreover, gold, silver, and platinum have industrial applications, which adds to their demand and value. They are used in various sectors, including electronics, jewelry, and manufacturing, further supporting their long-term growth potential. One notable example is the global financial crisis in 2008. As stock markets plummeted and uncertainty rose, investors sought the safety and stability of gold. During this period, the price of gold surged, reaching an all-time high of around $1,900 per ounce in 2011. Another example is the period of high inflation in the 1970s. Inflation erodes the value of fiat currencies, making hard assets like gold, silver, and platinum attractive as a store of value. During this time, the price of gold skyrocketed from around $35 per ounce in 1970 to over $800 per ounce in 1980. Asset number four, value stocks and mutual funds. Investing in value stocks and mutual funds can be advantageous compared to keeping cash as they offer the potential for long-term growth and higher returns. While cash may seem like a safe option, it often fails to keep pace with inflation, resulting in a loss of purchasing power over time. Value stocks refer to shares of companies that are considered undervalued by the market, trading at a price lower than their intrinsic value. These stocks typically belong to well-established companies with stable earnings and strong fundamentals. Investing in value stocks allows investors to potentially benefit from the market eventually recognizing the true value of these companies, leading to price appreciation and potential capital gains. On the other hand, growth stocks represent shares of companies that are expected to grow at an above-average rate compared to the overall market. While growth stocks may offer higher potential returns, they also come with a higher level of risk due to their reliance on future earnings expectations. When comparing value stocks and growth stocks, it's important to note that not all stocks are inherently risky. Value stocks with their focus on companies that are currently undervalued can offer stability and potentially provide income through dividends. This makes them attractive for investors seeking a more conservative approach to investing. Investing in mutual funds is another option for individuals looking to diversify their investments and mitigate risk. Mutual funds pull money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of assets, including stocks, bonds, and other securities. This allows investors to gain exposure to a broad range of investments without having to directly manage individual stocks. Asset number five, industrial commodities, raw materials. Investing in industrial commodities such as raw materials can offer several advantages over keeping cash. One primary reason is their inherent value and importance in various industries. Industrial commodities like silver, copper, and cobalt have extensive applications in sectors such as electronics, construction, and renewable energy. Silver, for instance, is a key component in the production of electronics, including smartphones, laptops, and solar panels. Its excellent conductivity and reflective properties make it indispensable in these industries. Copper is another crucial industrial metal widely used in electrical wiring, plumbing, and infrastructure development. The demand for certain industrial commodities can experience significant spikes due to technological advancements or global trends. For example, the rising demand for electrical vehicles and renewable energy sources has led to increased requirements for cobalt, a key component in lithium-ion batteries. In 2020, cobalt prices surged as the industry sought to secure stable supplies to meet the growing demand. Investing in industrial commodities can be challenging for individual investors due to the complexities involved in physically owning and storing these materials. Instead, investing in stocks of mining companies that specialize in extracting these commodities can offer exposure to their potential growth. By investing in mining stocks, individuals can participate in the profitability and expansion of the mining industry as demand for these commodities increases. It's important to note that investing in mining companies comes with its own risks and considerations such as market volatility, company-specific factors, and geopolitical factors. Therefore, conducting thorough research and consulting with a financial advisor is advisable before making any investment decisions in this sector. 
Asset number six, land and real estate. Investing in land and real estate can be a prudent choice compared to holding cash because it's considered a non-depreciable asset that has the potential to appreciate in value over time. Unlike cash, which can lose its purchasing power due to inflation, land and real estate have intrinsic value and are always in demand. Land and real estate have multiple uses and are essential for various purposes such as residential housing, commercial buildings, industrial sites, agricultural land, and more. The demand for these properties remains consistent as they serve as fundamental resources for human activities and economic development. For instance, businesses require office spaces, retail establishments need storefronts, and individuals need homes. This constant demand contributes to the potential for appreciation in land and real estate values. Historical data supports the notion that housing prices have shown a general upward trend over the years. According to studies, housing prices in many regions have increased significantly over the long term, outpacing inflation and providing substantial returns for investors. For example, in the United States, the Case-Shiller Home Price Index shows that home prices have experienced consistent growth over several decades, despite short-term fluctuations. Investing in land and real estate allows individuals to benefit from capital appreciation, rental income, and potential tax advantages. It provides a tangible and valuable asset that can be utilized for leverage for further financial opportunities. However, it's essential to conduct thorough research, consider location factors, market conditions, and engage in prudent financial planning before making real-time investments. Asset number seven, collectibles. Collectibles such as vintage cars, rare artwork, stamps, coins, or antique items can be valuable assets to hold compared to cash because they have the potential to appreciate in value over time. Unlike cash, which can be subject to inflation and losing its purchasing power, certain collectible items have a limited supply and a high level of desirability among collectors. When it comes to cars, while regular vehicles typically depreciate in value as they age, vintage or classic cars can hold or even increase their value over time. These unique and well-maintained vehicles become sought after by car enthusiasts and collectors, driving up their market value. For example, vintage cars like the Ferrari 250 GTO or the Porsche 911 Carrera RS have seen significant appreciation in their prices over the years. Artwork is another collectible category that can appreciate in value. Paintings by renowned artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh, or Pablo Picasso are highly sought after by art collectors and museums, as car city and historical significance of these artworks contribute to their increasing value. For instance, Leonardo da Vinci's painting Salvatore Mundi sold for a record-breaking $450.3 million in 2017, highlighting the substantial appreciation potential of valuable artworks. It's important to know that investing in collectibles requires knowledge, research, and expertise in the respective field. Assessing the authenticity, condition, provenance, and market demand for the specific collectible is crucial before making any investment decisions. As we come to the end of our discussion on the assets that are better and safer than cash, remember the importance of diversifying your portfolio and exploring alternative options to preserve and grow your wealth. By embracing these valuable assets, you can protect yourself against inflation, economic uncertainties, and the erosion of purchasing power. So why settle for keeping your cash in the bank when there are lucrative opportunities waiting to be explored? Take a leap towards a more secure financial future by investing in assets that have proven track records, offer potential appreciation, and provide tangible benefits beyond mere paper currency. As a renowned billiard investor Warren Buffett once said, never depend on a single income. Make an investment to create a second source. Wise words from a successful individual who understands the power of diversification and strategic investments. Thanks for tuning in to today's video on the General Finance channel. We hope you found it informative and valuable. Remember, we'll be posting new videos on the channel three to five times per week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And don't forget, we wanna hear from you. Leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments section below. Is there a particular topic you'd like us to cover in a future video? Let us know. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep building that financial savvy, and we'll be here every step of the way to help you on your journey to financial freedom.